Today we're going to hit the summit of Mount Biwa, so get pumped because you're coming with me. I am absolutely frothing to get into this. It's been six months since I've uh, hiked. Kalula Great Walk was my last hike, can you believe that? That's insane, six months ago. So I'm very much looking forward to having a crack at this. So I've just left the Gold Coast. We've got a two hour drive. It's gonna be a great day today. I'm very, very excited. I'm just gonna crank a podcast, settle into the drive, and I will see you at the bottom of the mountain. Yoo-hoo. We have made it to the car park. Let's have a look at what we're up against. Because I don't know too much about this mountain, to be honest. Let's have a look. Rightio. This is us, Mount Biwa, 556 meters high. That doesn't seem too crazy, but you should have a look at this thing. I can see it from the car park, it's unbelievable. And by the look of it, it is the tallest of the Glasshouse Mountains. So let's just do the big boy first, hey? How good. And there's some rock climbing. This is gonna be a fun one. Let's get into it. Can't wait, oh my God. It's such a nice day as well. There's only a few clouds in the sky, so this is looking Magic. Wow, we so straight off the bat, there's a nice little 300 step warm up. Got the body cooking already. I just spoke to a, um, a bloke that's done this a couple of times, and this hill that I'm looking at right now is insane. It's called Chicken Hill for good reason. Have a go at this. <laughs> Straight off the bat. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> So we've just come up that little chicken hill bizzo. Holy moly, that is, uh, you're not kidding. Coming down is going to be hectic. That's like 60 degrees. Straight down, we'll probably come up about 100 meters, 80 meters or so. But the view behind me is ballistic already. Okay, I've got a bit of a half-time update. I think I'm at the top of the big climb. That is hawking down at the bottom. I couldn't hold the camera, couldn't do anything. I've, I've got myself set up with this GoPro thing. I look like a walking camera. It's the only way I can sort of film that, so I hope that come out all right, but that was difficult. Going down is gonna be just like, no wonder people like you do here on the news, people fall down this thing, break bones, and have to get rescued, and you just think, ah, oh, that's, you know, you shouldn't be doing it if you're not capable, but oh my goodness me, you could get halfway up this thing, and your shoes aren't got enough grip, and then on the way down, you're just in strife. So you've got to be really, you've got to make sure you're very capable, have very good shoes. My shoes are no good. I might even have to go barefoot the way down. I'll work that out on the on the descent, but by the looks of it, I'm nearly at the top of this really steep hill, so then I've, I've heard that it's just a walking track off to the side. A steep walking track, I assume, with lots of steps. <laughs> but then we get to the top, and then we get the drone, because it's blue sky. Yes, finally. 
So we get some sick shots, I can't wait. All right, enough talking, more climbing, let's go. Well, this is a bit of a treat. Flat ground. It's the first bit of flat ground we've seen since Chicken Hill. It's this humongous, the cliff face is just unbelievable. If you could only see this, it's like all honeycombed into the rock face. It's quite amazing. There is a sign here that says, do not linger below this cliff face, keep moving for the next 200, rocks could fall and kill you. So let's uh, keep going. I was gonna have some lunch there, but I'll be sensible. I'm gonna have lunch on the top. Let's do that, because it can't be far, surely. Let's keep moving, onward and upward. Oh, well I slipped. All right, if my spidey senses are correct, this is the top. This is the top. Woo! My goodness, that is something else on the way down. 10 times as harder going down than it is going up. And if you don't have good shoes, well, flick them back in the backpack and go barefoot or get some good shoes. Because it is slippery as heck and it's not even wet. I just I passed the guy on the way up. He was frozen with a fear of heights, couldn't move, and I've just been hearing him for the last five minutes screaming at the top. And this poor girl I just passed in, she doesn't think she can go back down. It's a nightmare. I'm, on the other hand, still sketchy on Chicken Hill, which I'm looking at now. I don't even know if I can get down there. I'm just gonna slide the whole way down, I think, on my ass and Cross the fingers. I'll see you back at the car. Hopefully all my teeth are still in my mouth. See you soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're back in the car. And I've got, got all my teeth. I didn't fall over. That was unbelievable. What an amazing hike that is. A, an amazing view at the top is such a good reward for all of that hard work going up because that that's pretty intense. If you don't have good shoes, you have bad knees, you're not, you're doubting your fitness, I wouldn't do it. There was some, I saw some injuries today. As I said, there was a guy having an anxiety attack. That's the real deal, that one. But, amazing. If you don't wanna do it, just watch, I mean, you've watched this video, so you've basically done it. You can tick it off the list. Thank you very much for watching this hike. I really appreciate you watching, it means a lot. If you've come this far and you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, write me a comment, tell me about a horror story you've had on the mountain, tell me something good about the mountain. I'd love to hear it. It was fun talking to everyone up on the hill there, that was really good, everyone, everyone was very nice and very interesting. Anyway guys, I'll see you very soon. 2021, I'm gonna be doing a lot more hikes, so, um, I'll see you round. See you soon. I'm gonna go get a power raid. Ah.